kung kayong nanonood ay mag-start pa lang ng sewing journey nyo, kung di nyo alam kung ano yung mga kailangan ninyo, gano'n, sana may nakuha kayo sa aking video. And kung kayo ay mga pro, please share with me your knowledge kasi I love to learn about this stuff. You know, the girl needs help. I don't know if I'm cheap or I'm just being resourceful, ganard. Not cheap, resourceful. Hey, what's up, internet? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Salte Claire. If you don't already know, I have a shit ton of energy. I don't know why, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we're gonna be talking about things that I like. So this is a haul. Be proud. I haven't spent. I was going to say that I haven't shopped that much. All I've been spending my money on was sewing supplies. But um, I just checked out the shit. I have unlocked a new category to my online shopping obsession. Now I am constantly looking at sewing supplies that I might not even have the skill set to use yet. Oh, also fabric. Oh my god, I spent like a lot of hours just looking through fabrics and then I imagine ko lang na gamitin ko yung fabric na yun. Ang dami ko pinag-add to cart ng mga fabric. Feeling ko naman matatapos ko yung mga projects na yun. Pero hindi, I always take too long to start a new project because I'm scared to mess up. Okay. I personally don't think there's enough. I don't really know if there's actually like sewing YouTubers the mga Pinoy. Um, mag suggest kayo down below ha. Kapag so far, ako lang ako na hanap. If you are from the Philippines and you don't know where to start sewing, you know, and kung gusto niyo mas sewing content, niyo ako sa Bible eh. Girl, I got you. I mean, you know, I'm learning for you. Actually, I'm learning for me. But like, I'm going to share what I learn. I think I've only been sewing for a month. Let's just make it quick. Let's just jump right into the video. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media accounts and subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's go. If not majority, I think all nga actually. I got from Shopee just because it's the most accessible platform para makabili ako ng mga materials and tools and stuff. Since we're in quarantine, since we're in the middle of a pandemic, everything that I mentioned ko, I link it down below so you can shop for yourself. Wala pa akong like yung sewing studio yung mga ganon. Soon, di ba? May kakaroon din ako ng sarili kong ganon. But for now, all I have are two bins. Ayan. Lahat ng kailangan ko na dito na sa two bins na ito. Well, yeah. Lahat. So we'll start with the first then, ayan, I suggest you get the new one. Like, ayan, ah. Andiyan na lahat. Of course, siguro yung first essential ko is yung sewing machine ko. If you haven't watched it yet, in-unbox ko yung Singer M150. Am I right? Yung Singer M150 ko na sewing machine. Ayan, you can check that out. Yun yung machine na ginagamit ko. And that's how I learned to sew. But, of course, you can start out with just needle and thread. I personally did not actually go through that. Parang, at most, ang experience ko sa hand sewing is yung paglalagay ng buttons and yung pang may mga tiny rips sa damit ko. Ganun lang yung mga alam ko. ta -da! These are currently all the threads that I have. Ang onte pa, no? And then yung white ko nasa sewing machine ko kasi yun yung pinakaginagamit ko. So, onti pa lang yan. Pero syempre, I'll buy more next time. <laughs> so, I must don't think kailangan next time. But for now, ito muna. So, these are the apple na fun polyester thread. I only have two sizes of thread. Yung ganito kaliit, 100 meters yan. Ayan, focus ko naman. Ayan, this is 100 meters. And this one is 1,000 meters. Ayan, makikita nyo yung size difference if you wanna compare 100 meters and 1,000 meters. And meron din sila sa shop nila, alam ko, 3,000 meters. But that's too big and I think ito pa nga lang ang laki na oh. Ayan, pero next time, mga ganun-ganun siguro bibili ko pag mga bongka-bongka projects sa layo. So yeah, thread, of course, a necessity. It comes in a lot of colors. There's a wide range of colors you can buy, so just choose from it. Next, you're also gonna need pins and pin cushion. Ito yung pinaka-basic na, yung tomato. I think lahat ng dola natin may ganito. Ayan, free lang itong tomato na to. Ito yung ito talaga yun. Free lang itong pin cushion na ito sa sewing machine. And the pins naman, I'm sorry, kasi ano pa to, parang nahanap ko lang dito sa bahay. But I actually prefer using sewing clips. Kasi pag pins, um, in some fabrics, they leave a mark, magkakaroon ng butas. So, minsan, obviously, sa ibang fabrics. At saka with sewing pins, ilang beses na akong natusok, promise, puro sugat-sugat yung kamay ko. So, I opted for sewing clips. So, yung binili ko sa Shopee ito, it's 50 clips. And I think it's only 135 pesos, if I'm not mistaken. And I accidentally ordered two. Hindi ko napansin na dalawa pala yung nalagay ko doon. So, 
I got 100 sewing clips na. <laughs> Look at it. It's super cute. Super colorful niya. Not that it matters the colorful siya, but it's been really helpful for me. And for storage, you know, it's also useful to have jars. Sobrang dami namang empty jars dito sa bahay. Hindi ko na kung bakit. So that's where I keep it. Para yun extra lang yun. Ito yung handy. Ganon. Para lang mas cute, mas saninis ganon. And then yung i-repurpose into storage for your sewing stuff. I think it just really comes in handy. This was literally my favorite sewing purchase. I am... I'm just obsessed with it. I got, I'm such a loser, I'm so geeked up over this, but I got fabric scissors and can we just, I don't know, I just freaking love it. It's so cute and I don't know, I like it. It's gold. I know the importance of fabric scissors. Everyone I've ever watched has stressed that you should only use fabric scissors for your fabric. And so I got scissors for that purpose. So they came in this box. Tinago ko. <laughs> but it's cute kasi yung box. Ang social. Ang oh, social. Para lang pati may storage na ako. Yeah, may nalagay na ganyan. Tapos, yeah, for safekeeping lang. Ganyan. These scissors are actually really nice. They cut really well. Sobra smooth ang pag-cut for most of the fabrics I've worked with so far. And they're really sharp. These are 9 inches. So, they're very big and they're very sharp. Nahiwa ko na yung sarili ko dito. Medyo malalim kasi I was cutting corners. So, nagayon ko. So, it hurt a lot so be very very careful Masa guys ah do not use your regular scissors sa ginagamit yung panggupit ng paper or yung mga packages niyo for your fabric always have specific scissors for your fabric Next is a cutting mat or a self healing mat Yeah this cutting mat is size A4 so it's small as so you can see this thing you use it with a rotary cutter i just got this and once ko pa siya nagamit i'm still kind of getting the hang of it so with this pwede ka nang mag-cut ng fabric mo while it's flat para hindi mo na kailangan i-cut the scissors with this mas madaling i-trace around the fabric yung pattern mo get yourself one of these it has a safety lock may isa pa ako gusto bilhin na rotary cutter yun yung parang automatic na kailangan mo i-press para lumabas yung blade so it's always safe this one kasi pwede mong makalimutan ayan siya pag nakalabas so always make sure to close it. And I also got blades for the rotary cutter para extra lang para sabay na sa free shipping. <laughs> para hindi lang ako mag-order ng text. So I got refill blades for the rotary cutter. Um I know five pieces ito and it comes in the case na para syempre hindi lang pakalkat yung blades mo. So yes. I also use measuring tapes a lot. Ang dami pa kaya kaya sa bahay. Hindi ko talaga alam kung bakit sobrang dami na measuring tapes. But yeah, pretty self-explanatory. I use it to measure my body. Para alam ko kung anong sizes ng mga garments na gagawin ko. Kasi I think halos natin mo lang kailangan kong gamitin is para sa sarili ko lang. <laughs> Ako na rin yung magkasuot. So ayun. Very helpful. Hindi pa ako like pro sa pattern making. So far, iba pati sa ginagawa ko para some ay download off of the internet. Some ginagawa ko sa sarili mismo. Some tinitrace around ko sa clothes that, that fit me already. Parang kinuklone ko. I've been trying. It's one thing I actually really, really want to master yung pattern making. Ito pa lang ang meron akong ruler. Nakikita ko sa, sa iba, ang daming-daming kailangan ng mga rulers. Ganon, madaming etche boretche. Pero ito lang muna, I think yung pinaka magiging helpful. This is a curved ruler. Um, some people call it French curve. Ang dami kong dininig na iba-ibang terms for this. Ito this helps para sa pag mag ka ng sa underarm na part or sa crotch area. Yung ba sa yung mga may curves sa body. But yeah, I get a French curve. I also have a yung straight lang na ruler. Pero yun yung pang school lang. Parang pang grade school galon. <laughs> I also got Taylor's chalk. Ang cool na kasi eh, pamulut. Kasi this comes in a case. Four pieces yan, four colors. Mayroong blue, red, yellow, and white. These are helpful pag gusto mong magsulat. Sulat. Pag gusto mong markahan yung fabric ninyo. So you can see, you know, where you wanna cut it. Ganon, pwede mong gamit it for that. It just makes it easier to mark your fabric. And of course, this washes off. So hindi siya permanent sa fabric mo. I like it kasi may case siya. So, hindi magiging messy yung fabric chalk natin. Hindi magkakarat-karat, no? So, yeah. I'm really geeked out about these things. Yung mga may case lang para lang. I think it's just very thought out. Or basta, ewan ko. Tapos, may nakalagay yung potatoes chalk. I just like that. <laughs> Moving on to my second bean. Ito na. Tada! It's a mess. Ever since I started sewing, I practiced na lahat ng loose thread, lahat ng scraps of fabric ko, lahat. Wala akong tinatapon. I always keep it. So at first, I started with scrap jars. I called it scrap jars kasi 
scraps lang to nasa jar. <laughs> so yeah, I got these. Kita mo naman, parang first project ko pa lang to. Ginawa ko parang yung apahat. Puno na siya. As you can see, itong buong bin na to ay mga scrap fabric. Yung mga like ganyan. Sobrang liliit na fabric na na wala ka naman na magagawa. As in, literal, lahat o oh, yan o, oh, mga thread. Wala akong tinatapon. Just because it's a waste, you know, in the future, wala akong alam ngayon. But in the future, I might find something to do with them. Para hindi naman sila sayang, no? Kasi, wala, sayang lang. Kaya tapon ko, nang hihinayang ako. So, and I know sustainable fashion, sustainable clothing is on the rise. So, you know, in the future, I might be able to gain more knowledge and gain more skills to be able to make something like that. So, tago ko lang muna yan for reserve. And andito din yung ibang fabric ko na extra, like itong fleece fabric ko from my apa hat. So, yeah, guys, ha, I suggest you also do that. Don't throw away stuff. Or I don't know. I suggest lang naman, pero hindi ko naman sinabi kailangan. Or I don't know ba, kasi magtambak-tambak na talaga. I don't know. I suggest you keep a scrap jar or a scrap bin in my case. <laughs> the other things that I have here are yung mga gawa-gawa ko ng patterns. Ayan. Another essential is pattern paper or in my case, hindi ako gumagamit ng pattern paper because I'm cheap. Kaya tamad ako bumili. <laughs> sure. But also, I have a lot of scratch papers. Yun yun muna ginagamit ko. May kita nyo ito. Like this one pattern I made. Reviewer ko to sa yung Philippine history. Ganun. <laughs> so, yun. <laughs> yung hiluma kong reviewer. Ginawa kong pattern paper. Kita nyo yan. Pinagtitape-tape ko sila. Tapos, ayan. So, diba? So, I don't know if I'm cheap or I'm just being... I just wanna say I'm being ano na lang, I'm being resourceful, ganun. Not cheap, resourceful. But, of course, in the future, para nang mas professional, mas bang gaganon, I'll use patterned papers. Pero since I'm starting out lang naman, and kung ano-ano pa lang ginagawa kong pattern, hindi naman ako pro dito. So, and since I'm still learning, sayang yung pattern paper. So, scratch paper muna ako. And what else do I have here? Ayun, yun lang naman. Yun lang, wala na pala yung gamit dito, loss. So, ayun. So, yeah, that is my video about things that I use for the beginning of my sewing journey. <laughs> Majority of those are affordable because I'm cheap. No, I'm resourceful. I'm saving money. I'm not cheap. Okay, maybe I'm JK. They are affordable, but none of the things that I mentioned are actually cheap quality. Um, surprisingly, they're all really good quality. So I think that's really important, especially since this for me is an investment for my future. <laughs> Definitely not everything that you need if you're gonna become a bonggang. Oof. I really don't know words. <laughs> the tools that I mentioned, the things that I mentioned, they are enough to get by. Uh, if you're just learning, throughout the process, you'll see what things you need. Makita nyo kung mga problems sa lagi yun na encounter and saka kayo bibili ng mga products to help that, to help counter that problem. Pero for now, ito naman, it helps me and it's enough. Ayoko naman kasi bumili ng lahat na lang ng nakita ko na ginagamit ng mga professional sewers, mga professional tailors. Kasi di ko naman alam kung paano gamitin or di ko naman magagamit pa kasi wala pa ako skills for that, ganun. So, slowly lang, slowly but surely tayo. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna, you know, move on to greater, bigger things. Like for example, some of the things that my sewing wish list. Machine siguro, gusto ko talaga serger, yung overlock machine. Um, Just because I've been seeing that all around and I think it's so helpful for everything to finish off a garment. But, you know, for now, zigzag stitch is the way to go. Um, I also want, you know, pretty pattern paper. Yung hindi lang scratch paper. Pero next time na yun, pag pro na ako talaga sa pattern making. I also want like yung ruler set. Kasi may nakita akong ganun, yung pang pattern making tools, yung ruler set. Madami, yung madaming Madami. Mas madami. <laughs> madami may ganun pa or yung may L na malaki. I don't know what they are called. But I learn in the future. So future Altea Claire, please galingan mo. And I also want what else do I want? Um, yung mga pattern weights. Nagkita ko yun sa mga pinaparag ko YouTubers may pattern weights sila. Pero ngayon ang ginagamit ko yung mga libro ko. Accounting books ko. <laughs> Pinamumpatang ko dun para hindi gawala yung fabric. But resourceful. Not cheap. Gusto ko din ng A2 or A1 na cutting mat. Yung sobrang laki talaga para... Kasi currently do sa A4 na cutting mat ko, medyo mahirap lang. Kasi pag malaki yung project na ginagawa ko, ginagalaw ko siya ng ginagalaw. So, hindi ko continuously makakot yung fabric pag malaki siya. So, gusto ko noon yung A1 or A2 na cutting mat para malaki. Pero pag mayroon na din ako malaki space. Oh, what else do I want? Ay, I also want a dress form yung pang draping. Hindi ko muna siya like bibili na yon kasi wala pa ako masyadong alam tungkol sa draping. Um I watched videos pero hindi ko siya fully like magagawa. I think wala pa ako dawa sa sarili ko for that. But soon bibili tayo ng dress form, yung pinabol sana kasi sa mga napanood ko parang ginto yun yung kailangan para madali. Mag um 
<laughs> Kaya, I want that. Feeling ko, pag nagka-dress form ako, yun na yung parang pinaka mag-hit sa akin na, wow, I'm actually doing this. I'm actually gonna like, you know, make clothes. Music